He's 120 Ooh. CS. The Bloodthirster is charging there. And like we said, this lane has been very aggressive. Double if gets locked up, played backward in a perfect direction by Bloodwater. But they're reconsidering this. It comes out. Double if flashes in for the kill. Will he be able to get it? So slowed right now. And he goes to the last shot. There goes the level up. And they actually almost get the double kill for double lift. But the roam from Man Cloud comes down. He's not done. And Aphromu is going to support versus mid laner without mana run him off. 37,000 to 36,000. It is still a very close game economy wise. And we'll see if this can be broken soon. Oh. Another turret. Zuna coming very close. Everything just missing on the outside. And that's enough for the re engage. The counter coming in. And Link goes back over the wall, trying to deter the damage. But Benny's doing a great job on a three damage AoE. Call the Meek. Tiamat damage coming out using the active. They are crushing down CLG. CLG were so split right there. They had. They have to run through a minefield to get back to double lift since Chouster is throwing down so much area of effect damage. Now, since CLG has successfully waited out that Baron buff, yeah, and they're trying to uh, make that move back into the jungle. Aphromoo gets caught again, going up toward a brush. They are just getting every advantage that they can, taking down Link as well. And XDG is making huge plays right now. Getting up there towards 1300. Now, CLG out of the base. XG looking for the flank. There it is. Benny and Mancloud coming from the side. Double lift is forced to flash away. He is in a safe spot, though. DPSing from the outside, but it's like he's hitting a brick wall with Benny. Aphromoo very low. The chain locks him down. Double kill for Mancloud. A game where he's finally coming up for his team, and it is paying off as Smithy comes up with another kill. 8-1-8. Eight, eight. See, XG don't even have to go for the Baron. Just it being up means that the ward control they have over the map allows them to create the play at mid and go for the inhibitor. This is what you were talking about before in the game, Kobe. Curse versus CLG, that crisis mode. What do we do now? How does it happen from here? But I don't think CLG is going to be able to have an answer. They're going to be dead way too long here. XGG able to get a decisive and final fight in the mid lane. Something they very much so needed. The momentum for XDG hopefully back under them. A 45 minute game against CounterLogic Gaming that was in the base of XDG for the majority of the time. They push back out, they've knocked down the front door and they take the win away from CounterLogic Gaming.